Referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Takamandu in the turquoise. Grant Ockhorn in the white and black trim. Ockhorn originally supposed to fight Nick Bagley. Oh, oh and he gets caught there with a stiff right hand from Takamandu. They're originally supposed to fight Nick Bagley on this card. I'm going to get the sentence out at some point. <laughs> Takamandu I'm not sure he, I'm not keeps sure that stiff right hand and he's cut off for and, and that cut is bothering him as well. A lot of touching on the face there. And Mandu with absolute laser focus in. He's so sharp. You know, I've called uh, one or two of his fights at amateur uh, on the regional scene here in the UK. I'm so impressed with what I saw from him. Been in five round title fights as an amateur. Uh, I just don't think he got started last time out. And I expected big things from him, and we're seeing big things early in this fight. Grant, Grant Ogborn staying right in his face, though. <laughs> Tries that spinning back kick to the body, but Mandu taking it on the arms. You know, you'd sometimes wonder about the shape or conditioning of a guy taking a fight in a week's notice, but, you know, Mandu's looking in fine fettle here. He's not had to worry about a massive weight cut. The nose of Ogborn looking damaged there. A lot of touch and a lot of blood coming out of that. I think he might be breathing out of his mouth at the moment, which is not going to be good if another one of those nasty right hands from Mandu lands. Yeah, I mean, the, the Cutman's going to have his work cut out for him because that eye is looking nasty from where I'm sitting. I mean, that's a lot of damage done for two, two strikes landed, isn't it? Let's see if Mandu goes back to the well with that straight right. Oh, nice shot from Ockborn. Mandu takes it on the chin. Ogborn firing back now, charging forward. Mandu staying composed in the center of the cage. Oh. Not sure if there was a stumble there or if Mandu landed. Mandu's on him though, it's a nice short uppercut there. Oh, and right hand. And we have been sprayed with blood. Picked a great day to wear a white jacket, didn't I? I think I may have survived, actually. <laughs> I, think, I think you might want to take that off very quickly, though, because they're circling back towards us. And Mandu looks like he's loading up another one of those right hands. I have some strange conversations with my dry cleaners. <laughs> the last time I got sprayed with blood is in this exact chair in this venue. Mandu just overreaching with that right hand there. And I suppose that's maybe the danger. If you, if you found a home for something and it's worked so well, you don't want to go back to the well too many times. Ogborn faking the knee stop, there to stop, get inside. Stop, stop, time. Stay and there. I believe he Away. caught something to stay the right eye there. 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 Mandy being corner. sent to the neutral Away corner. Your corner. Relax. Stay there. Over there. Over there, relax. You've got time, relax. Keep your breath, relax. We'll have to see if we can get a second look at that. What did I say to you? Go away from your corner. Go away from your corner. Chris, don't. You know. Quiet. Yeah. Bring some water in the cloth. Take your time. You've got Mark time. Goddard just laying the law down there. Man, dude, straight out of the neutral corner. Is that wet? And the doctor, the doctor just having a look at that. And I believe it's the, it's the right eye. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it, it looked like it was the thumb just, just caught him. Clearly accidental there. And you know, nothing you can do about that. Just pure bad luck. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ogborn saying he's good to go, though. 
So this one will continue. And they're getting straight back to oh. the cage. Up on fire, got that high kick, and he's coming out fired up. Absolutely vicious from Ogborn here. He's got to be careful not to run onto one of those right hands from Mandu. Just and Mandu flat. blocking him out of the sky with that one. Ogborn's tried that, that spinning back kick to the body a few times. I'm wondering if he's maybe gonna, gonna go high with that eventually. Mandu catches him with a left. Just misses with the right hand that time. With the up kick oh. and again gets caught right. in midair by Taka Mandu. Quite a round we've had. We've had a break for an eye poke and a, a break for a uh, low blow. And there is no doubt about that one. Yeah, Ogborn's been kicking to the body. And again, you know, you know very very similar to, to what we saw before, just you know, completely unintentional. And Mandy seems in good spirits though. And we will get straight back to it. 13 seconds left in the round. Piercing left there. And is Ogborn cut or at least marked above the eye as well now? Tacker puts him down. Ogborn wrestling back. First round in the books and that was quite an eventful one there. We saw a bit of everything there. I just looked down and was like, that's still the first round. Accidental or not, Ogborn is more than likely going to lose a point should that happen again. Yeah, he's got to be careful with those uh, those kicks. And, and you wonder how does this affect the game plan? Because he's going to be wary of throwing those kicks with the left. Chris Fields asking Mandu to use the jab. Yeah. There it is. Wow, really shaking his head there. You don't yeah. see a, a, an extreme reaction like that from uh, in the middle of a fight from many people, do you? Yeah, perhaps a bit of frustration. I mean, a lot of frustration on the face of uh, Oldbourne there. I mean, there's such a, a sort of juxtaposition between sort of the emotions of these two fighters. Ogborn sort of really uh, wearing his heart on his sleeve in terms of the frustration when he gets hit a few times, he fires back, he comes out aggressive. And then on the other hand, you have Mandu, who's just so calm and collected the entire Stop. time. Stop. And there's Stay that there. big right hand Listen. again. And no, once again, Brent Ogborn's times. called him low. That's three times, it's three and a half. Come here. Come and here. this is going to be a point now, I believe. You've got to be in control. One point, one point, one point. Listen, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'll need you to think about your technique, all right, buddy? Think about what you're throwing. OK, let's go. Good? OK, let's go. Mandu getting straight back to it, and that is not going to aid Ogborn because... Yeah, he's already going to be he's down. He's a round down. Yeah. I mean, so far, two rounds down, uh, we've got plenty of time in this second round, but that's not going to help at all. Nice kick to the body there from Ogborn. Bit of capoeira. And again, Mandu finding a way through for that right hand. Pace slowing down a little bit now. It's a 
very fast start from Mandu. Halfway through the fight now. Yeah, Chris Fields saying that Mandu needs to watch out for the question mark kick. We did see Ogborn throw one earlier in the fight. Spinning back elbow from Ogborn. And again. Spinning back fist that time. Oh, first shot of the fight and a beautiful level change and nice takedown attempt. And Mandu doing a fantastic job of trying to pop back to the feet, but it's unsuccessful. Well, and you stop, can stop, sit down, stop, 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 sit down, sit down. Don't think about doing that again. Onto that body lock. Don't do it. Let's go. Uh, maybe, maybe a grab of the fence yeah, there for Mandu. He, he used the fence to get back up from there. my position, and and that you do not want to be doing any funny business when you've got Mark Goddard refereeing your fights. Not getting away with it. Good Andy work. Able to get, back to to the feet. get out from behind on corner there again, trying that spinning hook kick that time. And another takedown attempt. I had a feeling that we're going to see Ogborn go for more takedowns because he did have a little bit of success with that one. Yeah, good knee on the break there as well from Ogborn. But the way he's shooting these takedowns are really, really high energy, they're high effort. And you don't want to be in front of someone like uh, Mandu and be tired and shooting out of desperation. Yeah, you don't want to catch a knee at the middle. Chris Fields calling, let it go, let him go. Yeah, well, when he has let the shots go, he's had great success with them. Just perhaps needs to be a little bit more active. Oh, there it is. Nice right hand from Mandu. Can he capitalize now? Nice body kick from Ogborn there, but Mandu firing back with a couple of shots of his own. 30 seconds left in the round. Mandu kicking the lead leg of Ogborn there. If the clock ticks down in this second round, we'll have five more minutes of this one. Very entertaining bantamweight clash. Time. And again, Mandu throwing that right hand out was wide of the mark that time. And his corner just asking him to calm down a little bit. And you saw Chris Fields, as soon as he got in the cage, he pointed over Oldbourne as if to say he's more tired than you. 10-8 effectively in the second round with that point deduction. Mandu with a nice right to start things off. Not I, one. I mean, he is coming out. Again. He is coming out for that finish. Nice uppercut from Mandu there, though. Frames off and gets out. Tries the spinning hook kick again to Ogborn. Absolutely insane pace from Ogborn in the first 15 seconds of the round. And no one's going to be able to maintain that pace in the third round of a fight. Chris Fields calling for 50 jabs. Ogborn's corner. There's four. They want him to walk his man down. He has had some success when he's come charging forward, but he's also eaten shots like that. See Mandu winding up there for that right hand. He's had so much success with that right hand when it's landed. I mean, it's probably a question for for another day, Dan. But uh, it's like a man who's 25 years old. I, I think featherweight could be in his future. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, he is looking in fantastic condition tonight. Yeah, yeah, and you know he did not have a fight booked this time last this time last week. Wow! So six days in, in effect that, he, that this fight was agreed on. I mean, you could not tell, could you? Oh, oh there's a big right, bouncing, 
Ogborn off of the fence. Tries to the miss it. Shot from Ogborn, and he is tired now. Big right hand from Mandu. And I think he's starting to smell the blood a little bit. He might be going for the finish. Two minutes 40 left in this fight. He was back on the jab there. And Mandu really, really taking control now. Oh, oh and again. again. Fine, over there. Over here, buddy. Over here. I would not want to be all born right there. now with the telling off he's about to get. I mean, you know... It, it, Listen. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to give you the benefit of the doubt there. That's impossible to control, OK? The benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Ready? Given the Five. benefit of the doubt there by Mark Goddard on that one. But, you know, if someone turns into your kick when you're throwing yeah. it, it, you know, there's nothing really you can do about that. So that's fair enough. Mandu clinching up now yeah, this on is the, the cage. Time, this is the first time we've seen Mandu really clinch at all. Um, he was really starting to open up a, a lot more with the strikes. So two minutes left. It's interesting to see him change up the strategy a little bit here. Onto the back position, and now he unloads. Nice right hand. I mean, maybe he's just tired of uh, being kicked between the goalposts. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> The shot lands, uh, and you can really see the fatigue now on Ogborn. I mean, with the performance that Mandu's put on, I think it would almost be a shame if he wasn't able to get the finish here. I mean, a, 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 almost flawless performance regardless, but nice shot from uh, Ogborn, but Mandu just shrugging it off. Yeah, great take down the fence there. Jab to the body. And you heard Chris Fields say, go to the body, and Mandu immediately obliging his coach. Mandu really starting to wind up for a big right hand here. You can, you can sense it's coming, spinning back kick to the body. Jab, right hand, jab. Nice combination, Mark Goddard has seen it up, and it's over! Taka Mandu gets his first Cage Warriors win, and he does it in style here in London. And suddenly, the first bit of emotion that we've seen from him, so stoic throughout the entire fight. Such a clinical performance and able to get the stoppage, and in my, in my mind, a good stoppage from Mark Goddard there. Yeah, you know, o o o absolutely no need for him to take another 90 seconds worth of damage. Yeah. He's not defending himself there. It's e eating the shots on the chin. Incredible toughness there from Ogborn, but unnecessary for him to take any more damage and Mark Goddard calls a stop.